find the equation of the line passing through 3, 1 and 7, 3. First, label your points. x1, y1, x2, y2. Second, it's good to remember your gradient equation because the gradient is the first thing that we need. And the gradient equation is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. What we're going to do is we're going to slot in the, the points that we have. So we're going to go y2 minus y1. 3 minus 1 is 2. x2 minus x1. 7 minus 3 is 4. Or a half. 2 over 4 or a half. The next thing that we need to do is we need to complete all the parts of our line equation which goes y equals mx plus c. We're going to use the point that we've, one of the points that we've got. We might use 3, 1. So if I'm going to use 3, 1, I'll write it here using 3, 1. And just so that we don't get lost, we're going to label it x and y. Finally, we're going to put in what we know. So we've got a point on this line, and it fits the rule for the line. So we're going to go 1 equals a half times x, which is 3, plus c. We're looking for c. So 1 equals 3 over 2, half times 3, plus c. Because this 3 over 2 is added on this side, we'll take it to the other side and do the opposite. 1 minus 3 over 2 equals C. You can use your calculator. You'll find that C is negative a half. And we won't forget to write our final equation. Y equals a half, because that's our M, X, minus a half. Y equals M, X, plus C.